in domestic violence cases. Our officers are trained by their division heads that any time a 911 call is made that they have to arrest somebody and they have to make a split-second decision as to who they believe the aggressor is. 90% of the cases that we've handled, our clients truly aren't guilty of domestic violence. In order to be guilty of domestic violence, you have to want to harm the other individual. Sometimes you get into a heated argument, sometimes people get in other people's face, and that person is often removed from that space, not in a way that is harmful, but in a way to protect one's own space. And that often is construed as violence by the police, which is absolutely incorrect. And the fact that a person is charged with domestic violence can be devastating. I've represented several people who have been in the military or who are in the military or looking to, to join the military where this has become a serious issue because obviously it's going to affect their ability to either enlist or remain in the military if they can't handle a firearm. When a person is arrested for domestic violence, usually there is no bond set until their case is heard by a magistrate or judge in order to determine whether or not there should be restraining orders preventing them from returning to the home. That individual is usually in need of immediate legal assistance and we are very prompt in responding to that individual.